Welcome back to the third installment in my NN310 Mo Board series. This one is going to be on Ideal Winds. Um, same setup with phone, Yahtzee tripod with some books and a tape dispenser. So apologize if it's, if it's poor quality, but here we go. So uh, the question I'm doing is going to be from the in-class exercise uh, situation two. Yeah, situation two. It says true, it, and the problem will be in the description. It says true wind has shifted and is now blowing from 250 at 12 knots. The SH-60B requested optimal relative wind to assist in landing. What course and speed must you steer to create desired winds from 0 to 0 relative at 20 knots? Determine the low speed solution. So in an, in an ideal winds problem, it's going to ask you for either the low speed solution, excuse me, or the high speed solution. This asks for the low. Most of the problems in the course ask for low. But yeah, anyways, um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler and the wind is coming from 250 true. So true bearings are on the outside of the circle. So we're gonna find 250. And what you're gonna do is you're going to draw a line all the way across the entire board. So that it goes through the center to the reciprocal course. And you wanna draw, it's not perfect, that's not even close, but you're gonna draw an arrow to remind yourself that the wind is blowing from this direction and that you're over here. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to draw a ship over here like they literally teach you to do this and you put port and starboard i guess you don't have to do that part but sometimes when there's relative bearings you can get messed up so the next part of the problem says you you want your desired winds from zero to zero relative so 20 degrees relative we always measure relative bearings to starboard so having this allows you to know like be reminded visually that you're gonna move 20 degrees this way. So you're going to be on zero five zero. And then what you do is you take your compass and you wanna create desired winds at 20 knots. So you're gonna take your compass and measure out 20 knots on the five to one speed scale, 20 knots. And then you're going to measure it from E. This is the only time 20 knots is a relative speed. This is the only time you're ever gonna measure a relative speed from the center, which is why we're not marking it E or anything, because you're not actually using the mo board in, in the traditional way. This is just a tool to help you get the information you need. So you're gonna mark it from the center on the course that's, zero, that's 20 degrees relative, which we already identified as 050. So that's there and you're gonna mark that point and you're gonna label it D. And now you're gonna take the last piece of information that we're given that you haven't used yet from the very first sentence where it says, the true wind is now blowing at 12 knots. So you're gonna take your compass on the five to one scale and put it at 12 knots. And you're going to measure from the new point you just made from D and it's going to intersect that line in two places. The one closest to the center, this is always the low speed solution. And the one farthest from the center is always the high speed solution. So in this case, it asks you for the low speed. So you don't even need to label the high speed, but now you know what it looks like. So what you do is you're gonna take your, I don't know if I'm able to do this with the, okay. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna take your ruler and line up D and your low speed solution. And you're going to parallel it so that it goes through the center because in order to get true bearings, we need to go through the center. So then what you do is you take this and 
you want to get the bearing where it is on the outside of the circle and it's you might be tempted like sometimes if you're not thinking you might draw it or you might mark the bearing that's on this side of the circle so the reciprocal course but you need to think that if you're if you are this ship you're not going to steer and if you're the ship and the wind is blowing this way you're not going to steer this course like that doesn't make sense um to get to get this way so but steering this course and having the wind blow this way like that makes more sense right so yeah and then so that gives you the course that your uh the low speed solution course which is about two one two true so the the textbook answer is 215 true but i'm going to attribute that to i have kind of a busted compass here and then the next part asks for the speed so the speed is is pretty simple you just take you measure from the center to the low speed solution so to that point that intersection and then you measure it on the five to one scale and you get nine knots and that's the textbook answer and that's how you do it make sure to uh, subscribe for more content.